Hi everyone! I decided to quickly film the intro to another Pantastic Lady collab that I am joining in and this one is the uh, Golden Girls collab. So um, this runs from September 14 all the way through May 9th and um, those dates are the first and the last episode of the original run of the Golden Girls. Now you may not know this about me but I am absolutely in love with that TV show. I watched this I don't know how many times um, I watched this again just recently. Um, Golden Girls just to me is so much fun to watch. So I thought this was actually a very very fun idea for a collab and I'm very happy that we're doing this with the Fantastic Ladies. And um, I found products for all 13 prompts that we had. Now I need to actually pull my notebook a little closer because I don't have my glasses on and without my glasses I feel like I'm a little bit blind almost. So um, let's see if we can do this. For starters, the first product is, of course, Golden Girls, because our Golden Girl, that's the name of the show. Um, if you don't know, we have four characters. We have Rose and Blanche and Dorothy and also Sophia, who is Dorothy's mom. And uh, Golden Girl, the idea is to use a golden product. And for this, I have in my Urban Decay Vice 3 palette the shade Lucky right here. This is a golden eyeshadow and I want to hit pan on this in part because I'm going to be panning this in 2019 pardon me in 2019 and I figure if I hit pan on this already I have a little bit of a head start and on top of that I think this might work very well with my current pan that palette which I'm also doing in collaboration with the fantastic ladies in the let's get naked collab so there is number one and um, for number two I can actually stay right here and um, show you um, the product I'm going to use for Rose uh, for her the idea was uh, to use something either rose colored something sweet or something silly and I'm going to go with this eyeshadow right here in the shade Alien, also in my Vice 3 palette. It's a rosy eyeshadow and I figure, again, right. I figured that this way I have a um, rose eyeshadow. I have another product where I'm working on something that I need to, I want to pan in 2019 anyway. Oh god, this is going to be one of those videos. So, um... I'm going to work on this. The next product I have is um, a product for Blanche and um, for her the prompt of course was sexy. If you know the show you, and you, then you obviously know who Blanche is and um, she's a very sexy character, she's a very sexy lady. For her it's, there's a lot of sexual innuendo going on with her. So I thought what could I possibly use? And I decided to go with the shade Lace Teddy right here in my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. If you've watched this channel, my videos, for a while, you know that I bought this particular palette for another project pan. And I haven't used it a lot since then, so I figure I want to get more use out of this. I was and looking at this palette is like why even debating using my ultra points for the naked basics and why would I buy the naked basics palette if I have this I don't know and I'm pretty sure you can't tell me either I'm going to be working on this one so lace teddy is number three number four would be for Dorothy and for her we're going to use a good blush or a good lipstick and I decided to go with the the bomb springs blush in in full swing and uh, this is it this is a small sample size a travel size so I'm going to be ab um, able to use this one up I hope 
It's a very nice color. It is a good blush and I like this on me to be honest. I don't use it often enough though. So this is a product I would like to work on. Anyway, for Sophia we're going with a sample product or something older. Now this is sample size and if I'm mistaken it might actually have been a travel size as well and it's older. It is my Urban Decay Zero Eyeliner. And I'm going to try and use this one up. I have this much left. I'm going to hopefully be able to make some markings um, after this video. But this is it. This is what I'm going to be working with. And this is for Sophia. So I think this is doable. Um, I need this. Thank you very much. You can have this. Next up we have um, Miami. For Miami we are going with something uh, bright and tropical, a bright or tropical color. Another eyeliner for me. This is the one that my son was currently playing with. Um, this is the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Electric. This is this bright tealy blue. I can't wait to use this a bit more and maybe hopefully use this one up. This is where I'm at. Again, I'm going to make some lines after the fact. I hope I can do this. So there's that. The um, next product is um, Back in St. Olaf. Um, Back in St. Olaf is the trademark saying of Roses. She would always come with a story of Back in St. Olaf um, this and that happened or we used to do this. For St. Olaf because of this, we said um, a throwback product or something gimmicky. I'm going to go with throwback and I'm going to go with uh, this guy here. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is in the medium to deep shade and um, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch but hopefully I can still make this work. I want to use this up and um, I hope I can use this up because it is so dark. And we'll just say what happens. But I figure um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer is such a throwback to the older YouTube days that um, this will hopefully be fun to use for this. Next up we have, uh, where is it? Yeah. Next up we have um, Picture It. And Picture It also asked for a throwback or a, a product that was made in overseas. And for this I have a Kajal that was made in Germany. I bought this in Germany. I brought this with me from Germany. So this is getting a little older. And um, this is in the shade uh, 020. It's from Turn It Up. And it's this beautiful color. I've used this all over my lips. It's um, it's a very, very nice shade. And I can't wait to play with it some more. So there's this. And then we have um, Big Daddy. For Big Daddy, we have an intimidating product. And for me, that would definitely be lipsticks. I have this Urban um, Decay um, from the Beached Collection so earlier this year lipstick in the shade Heat Wave. It's the one I'm wearing right now. I think it looks quite nice. I have no clue if I can finish this one. I'll probably rather not, but we'll try and um, we'll see what happens. So there is this. I love the color. It's a metal sized lipstick, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. I want to see if I can use this one up or at least make Quite a bit of progress. I'm going to again make some markings and lines for this one. Next up we have cheesecake. They love eating cheesecake. And for this we're going to go with a sweet packaging or a sweet scent. And for this I once again have to bother my son. I'm sorry cutie pie. I need this. Um, this is the Trend It Up High Shine Lip Gloss in some other number. Where's the number? Zero 030. And this just smells like cake batter, so um, I can't wait to wear this. Um, let me see if this goes well together. You can have it in a second. Give me a moment. Oh. Yeah, 
yeah, I think that's okay. I can make do. So, um, that's that. There you go. Then we have Charlie Nyland. And uh, for him, we have a travel size. For this, I decided to go with um, probably the one product I have in my collection that's not cruelty free. And that's the um, Ivy Y Beauty Highlighter in Bubbly. This to me is a travel size. I hope I can use this one up because the packaging broke. I got this from a friend of mine and I love the color. Ooh. I hope I can find something similar in a cruelty free version because this is just really gorgeous. I'm not wearing this right now because I did my makeup early this morning and I just really didn't even think about it. So um, I want to use this one up because it is such a nice color but because the packaging is broken and it is not cruelty free. So I want to get all of my use out of this and use it up. Um, there is some kind of bunny on the back but I don't recognize it. So there is that. Next up we have Stan the man. And um, Stan the man is the ex-husband of Dorothy's. Um, he's quite something and um, Dorothy and he they have a love-hate relationship. So Stan is still alive. Uh, they got divorced. They got back together for a short period of time in one of the first few seasons and then they separated again. Can't blame Dorothy there at all. Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, he has something going for him character wise, but. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, love hate relationship. I decided to go with this Nomad highlighter in the shade uh, Midnight Sun. I got this in a Petit Bore box and um, this is it. I have a love-hate relationship with highlighters to be honest and I can't believe I have two in here. I didn't think about that. Oops. Too late. Anyway, hopefully I can make do. So um, my issue with highlighters is that I... I kind of love the way they look, but I have a hard time of applying them the right way so they don't look like too much, but not too little either. And um, I also tend to forget about them. So hopefully I can use this one up too. That would be two highlighters out of my collection. And that would be just awesome, to be honest. And product number 13, our final product, is out in the lanai. And for this, we are going with a skin or body care product or something that uh, makes you glow. And no, I don't have another highlighter. I have my Ofra Body Illuminizer. I saw this and I was like, ooh, this might be nice. Seriously. I don't even know, but I want to use this one up. I fused this um, on the back of my hand once earlier today to make sure I really want to come into this, but I want to um, see how much I can use of this in the upcoming six months, seven, eight, eight months. I figure I can use this in spring and I can use this in the next few months as well, or next month at least because it's going to still be quite warm outside here at least so hopefully I can use this one up or make some progress at least because I don't know why I got this I don't know why I got this I have no clue but I have it now and I want to use it up so that it's gone um yeah so um just recently I got a dress I decided to try stitch fix because I needed some more clothes and I don't like clothes shopping too much and in um, my box I had a dress and I like the dress a lot but I have pale legs hopefully this can help me it's a little darker than my own skin tone but um, yeah hopefully this will help me with this and um, I can make get some good use out of it I figure if I have to use it on my entire leg both legs um, 
I can make some good use out of this and be done eventually. So um, this was it. I will link all the other ladies participating in the info box down below and um, hopefully you'll have fun with this. If you want to join in, feel free to do. Um, I just gave you a rundown of all the topics and um, names of the individual items, the prompts. So um, I hope you will have a great one and I will see you guys soon. Bye.